Okay, the next step is called the white daisy to the white cross. And I've created here a daisy to help you visualize what you wanna do. And there's a few things you need to learn before we create the white daisy. One is understand the difference between edge pieces and corner pieces. Edge, corner, edge, corner, edge, corner. So these are, this is an edge, this is a corner. This is an edge, this is a corner. This is an edge, this is a corner. When we create the white daisy, we're focusing on edge pieces only. Also, when you rotate the cube, only rotate the six sides. Don't rotate the middle um, because that's just going to confuse you as a beginner. Now, the white daisy has a yellow center and then it has petals that match. So for instance, this petal is white on the top here and it's blue because the blue matches the blue center. So we're looking for, here's white, here's blue. I mean, sorry, this, sorry, here's yellow. This should be white and this should be blue and it should match a blue center. None of that is true. So you locate, oh, there, locate the blue center, but this is actually in the wrong orientation and we try to figure out how to get it into the right orientation by maybe moving it down to the side and then moving this side up. Oh, look, there. Blue, blue, white, yellow. So we've got one petal. Oh, here's another petal, red and white. But it's, again, in the wrong orientation because this should be white and that should be red. How do we flip it around? Well, first we bring this to the side and then we bring it, um, maybe let's try bringing it over to the middle. So sometimes it's just experimenting. Oh, I told you not to move the middle, sorry. Don't listen to me. Okay, and then I brought it up and then I rotate it back in place. So you always put it back. After each piece of the petal, you put it back, put everything back. So white, blue, blue petal, white, red, red petal. Next, we locate the next one. Oh, here it is, green and white. Uh, but if we moved it up, it would still it'd be in the wrong orientation. So well, I guess we do have to move the middles. Darn it. Um, oh, I know, okay, so I'm gonna move the top instead of the middle. I'm moving the top away and then away and up. Then moving this face up. And this doesn't match, actually none of these match, but if I rotate them back, they match. And then um, find the last one. Oh, here it is. It's again in the wrong place, so I'm gonna move it to the side. And then I'm gonna move the top face over and then move it up and bring everything back. Oops, it's wrong. Um, this is wrong, this is orange and green. So now I'm gonna bring this guy, this orange petal, all the way to the bottom. So now he's here, I brought him to the bottom. From the top to the bottom. So I'm bringing him to the bottom and then I'm gonna match him, touch it and then find, there, touch the other orange one. Touch, touch, this to there, match. How do, how do you match it? This to there, rotate it over and then bring it all the way to the top and it's in the right place. And then we need to find the last one, which is green petal. Where did green petal go? Oh, green petal's on the bottom. Green petal's on the bottom, but it's not in the right place. So touch the green and white petal, touch green. Where's the green center? Touch green, touch green. There it is, right? Green to green, green to green. How do I get this to match this? Touch it, move it over, there, now they match. And then bring it from the bottom to the top and you finally have the daisy. Now that you have a daisy with the edge pieces that match, you rotate all four edges to the bottom upside down so that you form a cross. So upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down and flip and you have a white cross.
with the petals in the right place because they match the middles. Orange, orange, white, white. Blue, blue, white, white. Red, red, white, white. Green, green, white, white.